Hi dear students, today we are solving the ISS 2023 question number 3 paper 2. Statement is uh, the me method of moments provides consistent estimator of population moments from the weak law of large numbers is following this provided. Which of the following statement is correct in the above statement? So, uh, method of moments is consistent because uh, here what you can see that uh, the method of moments provides a consistent estimate. This is actually a true statement. And in this part, uh, the weak law, this thing is summation of xp by n uh, for any p value. This is e of x. So this is actually a false statement. So option number c is correct. First one is right. Second one is wrong. Let's go to question number four. Let x be a random variable which assumes only two values, 1 and 0 respectively. So the probability of getting success in the experiment, the hour, and uh, define the estimator t and this, what will be, which one of these is correct? MLE, unbiased estimator, MLE, consistent, but MLE uh, tending to theta. Okay. So x equal to two values, hai, 0 and 1. Ye failure ke liye ho gaya, ye success ke liye ho gaya. P of theta bhi aise hi hoga, theta 1 minus theta lagenga, Ikhe theta equal to rational and uh, theta is rational number, so success probability bhi se kehte sakte hai, so now probability of x equal to theta 1 equal to probability of theta, Thikhe? so x follows a binomial distribution 1 P of theta, okay. So as we know that if p equal to theta equal to theta, so theta hat of MLE is summation of xi by n. xi by n, okay. Uh, let's be equal to t. And uh, p of theta is to amlo agar le le the 1 minus theta. So 1 minus theta hat of MLE will be summation of 1 minus xi by n. So by invariance property, we can write it. So theta hat MLE is summation of xi by n equal to t. So e of t equal to theta. Okay. And uh, this equal to also theta. But if we put p of theta equal to 1 minus theta, p of t equal to 1 minus theta is not a constant for this. So obviously the answer to this question is, See.